Hey, good morning everyone. It is Friday, Friday. Yay! I'm on my way to Starbucks because it is like seriously cold outside. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's cold. And I'm gonna get a hot chocolate and then get to the office. And um, I don't really have that much to do today, but I'm gonna make it a great day. Hey friends, it's Friday night. I was gonna sing a song, but I can't think of a song with the word Friday night in there, although I'm sure there is one. If you know one, leave me a comment below. I am sitting on my couch and we did not really clean up the house today because guess what? We had no showings. Although this lady did show up to show the house, but her appointment had gotten canceled, let's see, yesterday morning. And she was given the option to reschedule and she didn't, or I guess she didn't check her emails or I'm not really sure. But anyway, at any event, she was not able to see the house because we had already stopped showings. In fact, we were taking highest and best offers until noon today. Um, we did receive quite a few offers and we chose one and we just executed it tonight. So that's awesome. In fact, I need to send this to the other agent so that she can have a fully executed contract in hand. So let's click send sent so we now have a fully executed contract I should probably text her and say done so d-o-n-e or maybe just like put a, a fork emoji like you know put a fork in me I'm done do you get that oh no not a good joke so I didn't vlog all day today because there wasn't really anything that happened literally well I got a hot chocolate this morning I did swing by the uh, lot, oh, the lot. I haven't called it in a lot in a long time. I swung by the house today because I used to call it the lot when there was no house on there, but now there's a house on there, so we can go, go ahead and call it the house. Uh, swung by the new house, and painters were there. Although, you know, like I was kind of wondering, like, can they paint in that kind of temperature? It's 36 degrees right now in Texas. That's cold. We do mild winters. We don't do cold winters. So I was going to stop by and I'm like, you know, they're probably painting. So, um, yeah, I just go like that and keep on driving. So I just went to work and, um, I don't even know what I vlogged this morning. I think it's just like, Hey, I'm getting my hot chocolate. I think that's all I vlogged. And now it's much, 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 much later. I worked on HOA stuff today. I worked on my offers because we had quite a few. So what I do is I put them all in a spreadsheet and I put um, the offer price minus our mortgage balance, gives us one number, and then I minus out all the expenses. So like there's closing fee, there's uh, if the contractor or offer is asking for us to pay for title, or if they're asking us to pay for the survey, or all the little fees like that and so then you do all of that and even though like some people say like oh you got to offer for a million dollars take it but if they're having you pay for everything you may be netting less than an offer that was for less money so you you have to kind of compare apples to apples i did get one letter from a gal it's really super sweet that she wrote that i wouldn't say it influenced us because it's not the one we chose but um, it did kind of make us pause and go, mm, look, at, listen to her story. But we ended up choosing another offer and they were thrilled, of course. And I had to let everybody else know, and there's a lot of people, <laughs> to let everybody else know, hey, sorry, but we did accept another contract. But if something happens to this contract, we will circle back and we will notify you. So that's just a courteous thing to do. I actually declined quite a few showings for today so I feel like if this contract didn't work out for some weird reason, we'd be okay because I'm sure we'd get another contract pretty quickly, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So one of the things that you do when you're, when you're in contract, when you're in title, is you, um, you negotiate like a certain amount of time for option period, okay? Well, some people don't have an option period, but anyway, these, these folks that are buying this house, you know, uh, opted to have an option period. So they pay us X amount of dollars for X amount of days. 
and that's just a negotiated price like a negotiated thing so um they negotiated um an actually pretty short option period and they're gonna have the inspection tomorrow I'm like, oh my gosh, you're, you're on top of things, girl. You go, girl. So bright and early at 9.30 in the morning, they're going to have inspection here. I'm not going to be home. Well, you really aren't home anyway. You kind of like leave so they can do their thing. But um, Marvin has to work where he, he volunteered to work. And I'm going to go to preview a house that I might be listing. So that, sound, that sounds like a fun thing to do in cold weather. It's going to be cold tomorrow, too. But... Um, I'll be previewing inside, so it's not that big a deal. And what I do when I preview is I just go and I check out the house. I've already looked at some comps just to kind of get a general idea of what's going on in the neighborhood. And I take, usually take some pictures so that I can kind of review it later and say like, okay, if we replaced carpet, this would help your price this much. Or if we just painted, this would help this. Or just needed staging, you need a complete rehab, you know, whatever whatever it looks like that the property needs. I just kind of assess it that way and compare it to the current properties that are listed, current properties that have sold and stuff like that. So I'm doing that tomorrow at 10. It'll take about an hour. And I have a few other errands to run because the, the inspection will probably take like two and a half hours maybe. It just depends. I don't know the, I know the inspector actually or know the company, but I don't know how long that they normally say it's going to take. So when they get here tomorrow, I'll just say, hey, about how long do you think it'll take? So that way I don't come home and go like, y'all still in my house? You know, and make it feel like weird or anything. Because, uh, yeah. So, that's going on in the morning. And what else? Not much really happened today. Honestly, we just stayed in. I did go make the deposit at the bank. But I'm telling you guys, it was cold. We don't do cold in Texas. We don't. We, we leave that to y'all. Y'all can have the cold. We don't do cold. We just do mild. Like mild hot sauce? No, I do hot hot sauce. But anyway, yeah, we just do mild winters. Not, not um, cold at all. But in fact, my daughter, one of my daughters, um, we have several, one of them lives in Cheney, Washington, and they had snow, which looks like such fun. But seriously it's fun for like one day and then we're done we're, we're good i'm good thanks you can take it back that's kind of how we feel about snow or at least i do so um we are going to keep the cats in tomorrow we have the crate inside the house and we'll just leave them inside i already told the other agent hey tell the inspector tell the buyer cats are going to be inside sorry um if they go to the little box or whatever but sorry it's just too cold for me to put them outside in the garage I would not do that to my cats. Sorry. And I think that's it. I think that's it. It's about all that's happening today. We are going to be, um, well, it just kind of depends on how this part goes. But if things go well, we're going to, uh, in about a week or, wow, hello, folks on me. In about a week or so, I'm going to put on like the local garage sale sites that we're going to be selling my desk that was in my office. We're going to be selling the kitchen table because we're getting a bigger one and probably going to be selling the couch and the chair. We have an oversized like um, chair, almost love seat, but it's not really, it's just like an oversized chair, chair and a half. I think they call it. We're going to be selling that and selling all the furniture so we don't have to move it and if Marv wants to sell any of his tools I guess or whatever but I'm mostly going to put it um on the online garage sale sites and also like just post it on Facebook like hey I got stuff for sale that way stop Bubba. that way um we can we don't have to haul it to the new house because no sense in hauling it to the new house when you're going to get new stuff anyway right am I right yeah I'm right but we're going to have to wait to buy until like we're in the new house. Maybe they'll just like hold delivery like Best Buy's doing. I don't know how that works, but stop. Hey, <laughs> the little one scratches the furniture. He's going to need to stop that. So I'm going to list our furniture in about a week or so. i uh, got to wait till we're out of option period and stuff like that. And um, we are set to close 
March 4th. Y'all, my house, the new house should be ready for us to move in in about a month. That's four weeks, y'all. Four weeks from today. Well, no, not even. Let me look this up. So today is February 8th. So one, two, three. What? One, two, three. Three weeks. We close. Now we're getting a temporary, what they call a temporary lease back. So we're going to stay in the house until I think two more weeks or something like that. But okay, so today is the 8th. The builder said by next Wednesday, which should be about the 13th ish, the painting should be done. Um, I don't know if he accounted for the. Every time I say accounting, or something like that. I think of the office where he goes, I'm accounting on you to go to lunch with me. Anyway, he said that the painting should be done around the next Wednesday, which will be the 13th. And then that Thursday, Friday ish, the, uh, what do you call it? Counter, countertop guy, fabricator should be installing counters. And then that would be the 14th, 15th ish, 16th ish. And then that following Monday, President's Day, 18th, 19th, uh, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, the um, electrician and the plumber should be doing their thing, and so that should be done like just in two or three days, so that's like the 20th or 21st, then we have an inspection, and we have a cleanup, the, the initial cleanup, um, they do another cleanup later, but they'll have the initial cleanup. Y'all, one, two, three weeks and a few days. And we'll be signing on, we'll be signing this house for sale over to the new owners. They'll let us stay for two weeks ish, I think. About two weeks. Does that even make sense? One, two, yeah, about two weeks. And by that time, actually by the first week of March or so, our new house should be ready. And our plan is, we'll have sold, or at least my plan is, <laughs> I don't know what everybody else's plan is, but I plan to have like the couch and stuff sold and kitchen table sold and what else? Because we're going to buy two new couches. The space will fit two couches. And so we're going to buy two new couches and then we're going to buy a new dining room table that fits at least six to eight. <laughs> And then we are going to buy a bed for the guest room and new bedding for our bed. Cause I think we're going to go ahead and keep our bed, but maybe a new mattress for the bed too. Not really sure. So if you guys have any, oh my gosh, it, hold on, hold on. Okay. I just had like a sneezing attack. So if you guys have any ideas on where your favorite place to go to buy furniture is, we bought this furniture from rooms to go and it's, yeah, it's fine, but some of our furniture we bought from Ashley Furniture, and we have a connection that sells Ashley Furniture, but at a discount, but it is Ashley Furniture. It comes in Ashley Furniture boxes, everything, and so I'm going to go look there, too, at their catalogs sometime this next week, and um, another friend bought from Pottery Barn her initial furniture, but she just bought some other furniture, like, way back in October, and it just barely got here. She had this huge, huge mess. So I'm kind of hesitating on like even looking at that. Like, I don't know. But Pottery Barn does send somebody out to your house to like measure and stuff and give you ideas. So that might be fun. And so we need the bed, two new couches, and a kitchen table and chairs. So I think that's it. Because I mean, we have the rest of the furniture. Uh, oh, new desk for me because I'm selling my desk. So a new desk for me um, and possibly like a chair for my office room and maybe a chair or two for the bedroom because we have some extra space in there. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. It'll probably end up being like cat lounge chair with the way these guys are. So anyway, I'm rambling again as per usual. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys go and I don't know who's texting me. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. What is that about? Oh, 
it's freaking 10 30 and you're just texting me back and i texted you like four hours ago anyway whatever uh doesn't matter i'm up but what if i wasn't then that ding ding i'd be like what who's texting me is there an emergency no there's not you're rambling that's the emergency stop so i'm gonna let you guys go and uh, we will see you tomorrow are you biting my nose say bye to the camera say bye bye Do you enjoy that? You're biting me. He's really a sweet kitty. Bye, y'all.